Hey friends, it's Eric and today we're checking out and comparing the Ecovax WinBot W1 Pro, which was last year's window cleaner, to the brand new Ecovax WinBot W2 Omni, which is the very first WinBot that I've seen with a base station. So without further ado, today I'm going to tell you three key differences that you're going to want to know before you decide to buy either one. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. First off, I want to thank Ecovax for sending both of these out to me, the W1 last year and the W2 this year, so I could honestly review them for you guys. But these videos are not sponsored in any other way, and that's just unethical of me. So I do want to let you know they did send these out to me. And honestly, they both do a great job at window cleaning. They are pretty much identical robots, meaning that they're both pretty much going to clean your windows exactly the same. That means that when you put it onto the window, you press the button for two seconds, it's going to apply the suction. And then they both clean exactly the same way. They both squirt water and they both have the microfiber cloth underneath and they both go to the edge and then they go up and down, left and right. However, it wants to clean, it does a great job. Yes, maybe last year they called it the wind slam path planning and this year, the W2, there's a new name to the path and the way that it cleans. But at the end of the day, they both do exactly the same thing and they both clean the window. And when it comes to the actual physical design of the robot, they're both exactly the same. And when it comes to the weight of the actual robot itself, not including the base station, they are exactly the same, which is surprising to me because I would think the W1 from last year would have more batteries, where W2 have most of their batteries in the Omni station, so it doesn't need to be quite as heavy, but obviously it is. The coloring and the aesthetics of each robot might be a little bit different. Last year they had this nice brown leather handle. This year it's just gray and white. Um, not any true difference. Same thing when it comes to the fill-up reservoir. Is exactly, pretty much exactly the same. They changed a the little lid. They both hold 60 milliliters of water. They also both use the Ecovacs app. There's a couple changes inside the Ecovacs app, but nothing to write home about. They change some of the user interfaces when you control the robot uh, manually, but pretty much all the other settings are exactly the same, and you're going to get the same results no matter which one that you pick. But there are still three key differences that I need to talk about. So first things first. And that is the length of the power wire and safety rope. On the W1 from last year, the power wire that you had to plug in was about 4.7 meters long. And the safety wire, they say, was about 1.2 meters long. But mine seemed to be much longer than that, but still much shorter than the, the power wire. Now, both of those wires are attached to the robot itself. And then inside your house, you have to plug it in for power. And if the battery's too low, it will not operate. So you have to keep it plugged in, make sure the battery um, is at a proper level. So if it happens to lose direct power from the power source, it still can run on the battery. And it'll go back to where it started and it'll start uh, letting you know that you need to get it off before that battery runs out. Now on the W2, this year's model, Obviously you have the base station, the Omni station, and you only have one single power wire from the base station to the robot. And that is a length of 5.5 meters long. And you can see here in my hallway it is slightly longer than last year's W1 wire at 4.7 meters. And the reason I'm telling you this is because this is gonna limit what size window that you can actually wash. Now they say the W2 can wash windows that are four meters by two and a half meters long because it has that 5.5 meter wire. Where last year, um, they don't mention how big that you can actually go, but with that shorter power wire that's required, you're definitely gonna have smaller windows. Now that might not be a factor to you, but to some people it might be, so I do want to let you know that is the very first key difference that you're gonna to wanna to know is the wire differences are different, plus 
the battery in the Omni station into the base station has to be fully charged. But when you're actually using the robot, you cannot have it plugged in. I don't know if that's a safety feature, but it can only run on that battery. So you have to fully charge it or have pretty much three quarters of a full charge just to have that safety. Um, if battery gets low, it's gonna let you know to get it off the window before it runs out of total battery. And what's weird, if you do leave it plugged in, it's gonna tell you that it can't operate because the batteries are too low, even when they're not. I actually charged this overnight and I came back the next day and it still gave me this message. Eventually, I was about to give up and I plugged it, ready to put it back. And I gave it one last chance and it worked. Um, and then I read in the instruction manual that you cannot use this when it is plugged in. It has to run off of the batteries. Where the W1 has to be plugged in all the time, then it had a battery safety. Kind of weird that the newer one you cannot have plugged in. It runs totally off the bigger battery pack, the Omni Station. But that's also nice that you can bring that Omni Station to anywhere, even if you don't have it out there nearby. And you're going to have 110 minutes of running time. Where the W1 definitely has to be near a power source and be plugged in while it's running. Now, obviously those batteries, or at least most of those batteries are stored in the Omni station and that's going to add a lot of weight to the actual station or portability of each unit. Now the W1 from last year included a carrying case and all together here, you can see it's about seven to eight pounds, but this year the W2 Omni, it has this all one carrying case where everything's included. And it's really nice that you can just fold it up, press the button, wind in the, the power wire, which is 5.5 meters long. And then you can just carry away. It has a nice built-in handle, has a suction cup on the bottom. So when it's running, it's suction cup down to the floor. Plus it has a safety wire, um, which doesn't really matter how long that safety wire is because that's just gonna be sitting on your floor. You can tie it to um, you know a table or something. But the difference here is how heavy the Omni station is with the robot at over 15 pounds. So it's almost double the weight of the W1 when you consider everything put together. Now, to me, I don't see any rhyme or rhythm, which one might be better set up, but maybe you have a certain use case where you don't have an outlet nearby or you need, or if you want something a little bit lighter, but I'm just giving you the facts so you can make an educated decision. Now, obviously the third key difference is price. I can't mention the prices because here on Amazon, they won't allow it, but the W1 is definitely about a third cheaper, maybe a half cheaper depending on if you can get it on sale or not, but you have to weigh in. Do you need the extra battery life? Do you want the low extra longer cable? Do you want to uh, have all in one package that you can just put together and carry away? Do you want to spend more? So you're gonna have to figure out if that price is worth it. But at the end of the day, both of these do a excellent job at window cleaning. And I really can't see a difference between a W1 and a W2 uh, cleaning the windows. So um, it's really gonna come down to your preference, your particular situation and the price that you can afford. Now, don't get mixed up in all the marketing with the wind slam technology, the path planning 3.0, the path planning 4.0, the 550 pascals of suction. Hey, it's not sucking anything in and it did great at 2,800 pascals of suction. So really there's no difference between one that's sucking at 2,800 and one sucking at 5,500 since they both are applied to the window and they're both just 
using the microfiber cloth and the water just to clean your window and the suction power really doesn't matter. So no matter which way you go, I hope this information that gave in this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you want to pick one of these up, definitely support the channel by using the affiliate links down below. Truly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.